handle. I am Dr. Peace Amarebula, an orthopedic surgeon with interest in pediatric orthopedics. I live and practice in Nigeria, and I'm also the founding chairman for the Straight Child Foundation, a non-governmental organization with focus on childhood disabilities and deformities, particularly cerebral palsy and clawfoot, as well as holistic outreaches for children. The Straight Child Foundation is actually a product of a vision to bridge a gap in the access to quality care by children living with disabilities and deformities in our environment. We observed that there's a wide difference between what is expected and what is obtainable in different climes and what is actually obtainable in our country. A lot of those children still suffer from stigma and discrimination. Their parents also suffer that. Interestingly, a lot of those parents are poor people who are not actually able to afford all that is necessary to give the best to their children. So with all that we observed, we thought we could also contribute our own parts towards the achievement of the desired. And what's the desired in this case? The desired is the ease of access of quality healthcare by these people who are vulnerable and who also deserve the best that they could get from the government. Now, um, as an organization, we work hard to improve the awareness of cerebral palsy and claw foot. We we'll do this through the conduct of seminars, awareness meetings, educational um, trainings for health providers and even for the general public. So, and in, in, in as regards claw foot, particularly, we have an we have an ongoing partnership with Miracle Fit USA that has enabled us to push our push our vision beyond what we would have been able to do ordinarily on our own. A study in Southeast Nigeria, led by Okoha et al., and conducted in 2011 put the incidence of claw foot at 3.4 cases in every 1,000 live births. Considering the population of Nigeria and a crude birth rate of 46 per 1,000 in the population, that means that hundreds of thousands of children are born with claw foot in Nigeria. Good news is that this condition is easily treated with a non-surgical method comprising serial and sequential manipulation and casting, Achilles stenotomy, which is usually fake cutaneous, and maintenance with foot abduction braces after the initial correction. And this is till the child is at least five years of age. This method of treatment, named after Ignacio Ponsetti, who popularized it, is cheap and produces a functional pain-free and plantigrade foot which is also flexible, as against the stiff and painful foot, which is often the product of surgical treatment for claw foot. So through this non-surgical treatment, though this non-surgical treatment might have been present and available in Nigeria in the past, Ponsetti method of claw foot was actually highlighted and um, popularized in Nigeria starting from 2009 when Professor Olayinka Adewe um, and his team at the Obafemi Awolowo University Team Hospital Complex Ilaife brought a team from Iowa in the United States of America, led by Dr. Jose Mokwande, to come and train some providers on the Ponsetti method of claw foot. Thereafter, different centers. Um, began to adopt this method of treatment officially. Then in 2016, at the National Council on Health, held in Abia State, Nigeria. Now, the National Council on Health is the highest decision-making body on health in Nigeria. It is, it is made up of the Minister of Health and other top functionaries in the health ministry in Nigeria. 
the commissioners for health in the different states of Nigeria and other directors of health and high ranking officers in, in the health department of different parastasals. So that is the highest health making, um, health policy making body in Nigeria and in their, they hold their meeting annually, at least the minimum of annually. And in their meeting in 2016, Professor Debo Inbe also was able to push through and the council adopted consenting care as the method of lawful treatment in Nigeria. And what was now left after that was the implementation of this method of care and making it easily accessible to the people at the grassroots in the different states. And that was, this implementation is what the partnership between Miracle Fit and the Stretcher Foundation had also brought to the birth. In, in a space of three years, this partnership has increased the support um, of cloth food clinics where this consenting method of treatment is made access, easily accessible to children. The number has increased from two, which we started off with in one state. The two centers then, Federal Medical Center, Omar here, and the Abia State University Teaching Hospital in Abba, where the initial, both were in Abia State, and they were the initial centers where this um, support for cloth food care where was um, piloted. And at the end of that, and with the success that we observed, the program has been able to extend to six other states in Nigeria. So currently, there are six hospitals that have cloth food clinics where children can be brought and they have access to free um, consenting care for their cloth food. And the number is also bound to increase in, in the coming years. Uh, what actually happens in, the, in, in this um, partnership is that the Stretch Health Foundation identifies the public hospitals where consenting treatment of law food should be supported. And its assessment visit is carried out to the said hospital to obtain the consent of the practitioner and the hospital management and also establish the existing standard of um, cloth food care in the hospital so that we would know what could be improved upon and what could be built upon. Then a multidisciplinary team of providers, including but not limited to the orthopedic surgeons, physiotherapists, nurses, clinical psychologists, plaster technicians, prosthetists and orthotists, and social workers, is trained on standard consenting care in order to ensure that all the members of the team are on the same page. This would enhance communication. We understand and we appreciate that not every member of the team would apply the test. Not every member of the team would evaluate the patient in terms of doing the Pirani scoring for the patient. But when everybody in the team is on the same page, it makes for ease of communication. So everybody in the team is trained on quantity management as much as is possible. And this training is based on the African Law Food Training Curriculum, which was brought up from research by the Global Law Food Initiative in partnership with the Oxford University and other partners in the research. So it is the African Law Food Training Curriculum that's used for the training. And the highlights of the training include the emphasis on the components and pathological anatomy of cloth food deformity, the sequence for the Ponsetti method of manipulation, the characteristics of the ideal cast, and the positioning of the providers, indications and timing for tenotomy, and qualities of the ideal food abduction brace. This training also marks the beginning of the cloth food support for the clinic where it's hosted. After, and after that, the casting supplies, tenotomy supplies, as well as the food abduction braces for the, uh, provide, are donated to the hospital. The parents who demonstrate a genuine need for financial assistance in order to enable them take their children to the clinics for um, consenting treatment are also 
giving some stipends to help them. The contribution of the government in this process is in the provision of infrastructure and stuff. You know, the hospitals, uh, government hospitals, and the partnership that Stretcher Foundation Miracle Faith do not have to build. The staff are already staff of the hospitals, they are employees and they get their salaries. So that also makes it easy for the program to just bother on the, the consumables for the, for the patients who need them. And the, in addition, the National Primary Healthcare Development Agency is also contacted as a partner to the program due to their pivotal role in making healthcare easily accessible to the rural dwellers. Court services are paid to the government officials in the different states to enable them to understand the essence of the program and also to buy into it. During the COVID-19 pandemic, the program was also able to provide personal protective um, equipment to providers, thereby reducing the difficulties that the hospital management had in providing those materials. This program has successfully attended to more than 600 children with love food since inception. About 444 children are currently on food adoption braces, and 66 of these children have completed at least two years of brace work. The impact of this program is assessed by the level of correction and planting great state of the food, and also the satisfaction of the parents to the food function of their children. Through this partnership with the Miracle Fit, the Stretch Health Foundation has demonstrated in practical terms that government and community-based organizations can work hand in hand to ensure that quality care for the most vulnerable populations, in this case, children born with no in Nigeria, would be achievable. Thank you.